So, while building racking and waiting for the gear I need in order to test my new big fancy AGM Telecom batteries, I figured I'd uh, do a bit of uh, out of interest testing on my oldest batteries, which are going to be discarded now that I'm moving the bank up to 48 volts. And uh, that would be these four truck batteries. I've had these since. Uh, since April of last year, so about 10 months or so, 10, 11, no, 8, 8, 9 months, and they've been uh, cycled a few times in the solar system, they've mostly just been sitting, getting charged by the panels during winter, and not really doing anything except self-discharging. I've checked the specific gravity of them, and that is surprisingly extremely even. It's uh, 1.25 for every battery, and while that might sound a bit low, it is because I've put a bit more water in them than they should have, just because I don't need to have extremely strong acid and extremely high voltage in these batteries. So the specific gravity in these batteries has always been fine, however... Well, They've been out of service for uh, a few days now, three or four days, and I've noticed that the self-discharge rate on all of them is horrible. They're all about 12.5 volts. And I can't reach that one, but you get the idea. And I put this one on the charger for a while, uh, maybe five hours today, and it drew most current that the charger had to give, and it seems to be sitting fairly stable at uh, well over 13 volts, so I'm assuming that they've simply been non-fully fully charged for quite some time, which is somewhat surprising, since the bank has been charging, even though I've gotten barely 20 watts out of my panels most days for the last few months, uh, the bank has usually been charging at uh, well over 13.5 volts. Well, between 13.2 and 13.6 volts has been the charging voltage, and since they have, there has been no use, I have not drained these batteries whatsoever. They should have been kept at a fairly high charge. So, I'm surprised to find out that apparently their self-discharge characteristics are so poor that my solar panels haven't really been able to keep up with them. Either way, I've got my test load hooked up to this one, and it's set up for a final run. There is no charger connected. How sad. So, I'm going to drain this one, and then load it on my truck, along with the other discarded ones, and sell them for scrap value. Here we go. I hope I've hooked everything up correctly. It seems that way. We're drawing 10 amps and... The voltage isn't dropping too fast. I was expecting this to perform quite a bit worse. Quite a bit worse, since it has only been charged today for a few hours. Perhaps we just have a naturally low resting voltage for some reason. That would be a bit odd though. These acid in them isn't so diluted that the idle voltage should be below 12.6 ever. All the acids just don't work that way. But... The time is ticking, so... I'll have to keep on working and revisit this in a few hours. And find out roughly how much capacity it has left. This particular battery was tested at 76 and 74 amp hours back when I first got it, so that's what we've got to beat, and I'm not certain it's going to reach that number. Right before bedtime, the time has stopped at 79 amp hours. So, while my methods of testing haven't been entirely consistent, I didn't have this accurate 10 amp load when I first got this battery. It seems it hasn't gotten the worst, at least. The, t the load I used to test it with was a 8-ish amp a car light bulb. So, 
this battery hasn't gotten wires from sitting in my solar system for almost a year, so I must have done something right at least. I shouldn't recharge this battery, but I just don't have the heart to let a reconditioned battery just sit around empty, destroying itself. That just goes against my principles. So, it's going to get a charge, even if it's just going to go to the tip anyway. Yes, don't worry. Papa wouldn't let you sulfate. It's okay. I'm sorry I said that. I was only joking. Testing your nerves a bit. Have a charge. Good night, my child. And even though it's uh, self-discharged to 12.46 volts, probably at least 12.48 since this meter is slightly off, but uh, yeah, it's not full, but let's give this one a cycle as well. This one came in at 86 amp hours for last time. Certainly dropping a bit slower than the other one. Well, actually, it seems as if we're not doing that right now, since uh, the cables come off in my load control. You can see right there the brown one. And that's the cable that goes to the clock. So, it's not going to keep any time. And I'm not going to monitor this manually, so... But to fix this. Oh, there we go. Quick solder joint later, and we're back in business. I left the black guy get a bit of a charge, and it's odd how the voltage just spikes up very far from just a very minor charge of these. Either way, let's see if it can beat its 86 amp hour benchmark. And it seems this one only lasted for 30 amp hours. Hmm. That's certainly a contrast. One of them has gotten better, and one of them has gotten worse. Hmm. Weird. I've got to test the other ones now. I'm curious, has the other one black one also turned bad? Is the other white one better? Hmm. Mystery. Huh, and this one that used to be at 100 amp hours is at uh, about 92. So it hasn't decayed anywhere near as much. Weird. Certainly one of them has decayed more than the other. Wonder why? I mean, I've given them the same treatment. Uh, this, the bad one of course has a leak, but I don't see why that would matter. It's a flooded open battery anyway. And the specific gravity has been fine in all the cells. And they were used in the same application, probably in the same vehicle. Considering how I got them at the same time and they dated the same date. And they both have genuine Mercedes logos on them and I know the place where I got them from don't put genuine Mercedes batteries in them. So, it must just be a freak accident. I don't think I'm going to bother testing that one though. Oh yes I will. And the results are in for number 4. 60 amp hours down from 86. So, in conclusion, I suppose we can all agree that white batteries last better than black ones. <laughs> Perhaps not a very scientific thing to reach. However, something I have reached that is a rather more intriguing conclusion is that I have four batteries which I am about to discard. So they are going to be brought outside. And I also have from disassembling my system, a whole lot of normal car style lead pole jumpers which might be very suitable for hooking four discarded batteries up in series and exploding things. So I've got to find some junk and cause some explosions I think.